Hey guys, what's going on? So, apparently today, May 6, 2020, it is now mandatory to wear a face mask in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Now, this is something where a lot of folks are like, oh my god, oh my god, here's the thing. The way it is issued is basically if you're going to an area where it's like all right, a grocery store basically an area where you can't in public where you can't properly social distance but keep about six feet between uh you and another person you you wear a mask i've heard a lot of people criticizing saying that well if if basically we close everything down but you're still going to the grocery stores then what's the point because you're end up going out running into people anyway is the thing if your mouth and nose are covered, if you cough or sneeze, yeah, you know, some of it may still get out, but compared to if you don't have some form of a covering, a scarf, a handkerchief, a bandana, a piece of cloth, something, it, 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 here's the thing. It's like we also got hit pretty hard up here because we had some of those, that 107 or so initial cases from the Biogen conference, which essentially, yeah, basically early February, just extremely poor timing. An individual came from an area around greater Wuhan, China. It just the worst possible time. We got a whole bunch of folks that are asymptomatic for a while. Maybe some of them never even showing signs happening in downtown Boston early on like that. High population density. Yeah, folks got hit hard. I've also heard from folks that literally work within the greater hospital industry that have been furloughed because hospitals generally make most of their money off of elective procedures. Elective procedures had basically been postponed for a long time. This is the thing. This is not an easy situation. I think we need to acknowledge that before we try to figure out what's actually happening. Um, Here's the thing, it also says anybody has a chronic underlying issue such as asthma or something like that, basically you don't have to wear a mask because it might make breathing harder for you or individuals under the age of two. So let's uh, let's actually pop over to this article here. And this is actually from mass.gov, this is not an article, this is directly from the website. Okay, you can see we have a very nice little photo there giving some examples of different types of masks you could use. As we can see, the Baker Polito administration today issued an order requiring the use of masks or face coverings in public places where they cannot socially distance from others. The administration also announced expanded community health center COVID-19 testing capacity at centers throughout the Commonwealth. I have one not that far from myself as well. I think we, we may have had a little footage the other day. Masks and other face covering. The Baker Polito administration has ordered all residents over the age of two to use a face covering or mask in public places where maintaining proper social distancing measures to prevent the spread of COVID-19 are not possible. This statewide order goes into effect May 6 and supersedes previously issued guidance related to mask use. The order applies to all workers and customers of businesses and other organizations that are currently open to the public and permitted to operate as COVID-19 essential businesses, such as grocery stores, farmeries, and other retail stores, including Dunkin's. I, I got my coffee earlier. I like coffee. Residents are also required to wear a mask or face coverings at all times when using any means of transportation service or public mass transit. And this is one of the things that I've heard from certain folks uh, in regards to New York or a lot of these cities. A lot of folks in the cities, they, they don't have a car or something. They, they often get around by public transportation, which is the greatest. No, well, does it get you where you need to go? Yeah. And it can also be affordable to a lot of people as well. Still be pretty expensive though, but hey, that's the thing. But if you're in an enclosed tube or something like that with recirculated air or a bus or something, yeah, I, I think those are major transmission vectors. Again, I am not a doctor. I am not an attorney. Now, a face covering may include anything that covers your nose and mouth, including a mask, scarf, or bandana. Healthcare masks should not be used and should be preserved for healthcare workers and first responders. Cloth masks should be worn, but 
should not be worn by young children under the age of two, persons with difficulty breathing, and those who are unconscious, incapacitated, or otherwise unable to remove the mask without assistance. Instructions on how to make a cloth mask are available from the CDC here. Here's the thing. It's like we are now asking people to essentially do something. It was asked before. Now it's essentially an order. Um, it's authoritarian. I mean, we are in a state of emergency. We are in a national emergency. Um, here's the thing. It's the law I've heard from uh, an individual locally that he said, uh, yeah, it's basically a three hundred dollar fine if you don't. What, what 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 essentially we're doing? We're we're treating everyone around us as if they're a potential bioweapon. They go off or sneeze. Basically, if you're not covered or something like that, and you this is the thing with this disease. Basically, if someone's showing like heavy symptoms, you know you're sick. You know you're sick. If somebody can actively spread this while not showing symptoms, that explains a lot of the confusion, especially early on. And we're still learning so many things. What do we know right now? We barely know anything. We know this is a virus. We know it's extremely contagious. We know a lot of people have died from it. So, there's a thing on this. I, I'm not sure there, there are really any good answers for situations like this. We gotta just do the best we can and hope for the best. Will mistakes be made? Yeah. yeah. Have mistakes been made? Yeah. Two errors, human. But I think we can do better. You know, the whole goal is to level up. Ah, you see what I do there. Thank you all for watching. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe and long live the elbow bump.